video. Say hi. Hi. So if you want to learn how to teach your child to flip over and float in the water, now that is sometimes tricky. Children usually do not like this skill in the beginning, but the idea is to just get them really good at rolling over. I wouldn't even really focus on the floating at, uh, in the beginning. I would really just focus on getting them to roll over in the water. So if your child can go underwater, then it's time to start flipping them over. You need them to be really good at uh, going underwater before you start this process. So make sure you are doing that. Um, that is a couple videos back. So just go ahead and check that out. Yeah. Okay, you ready to show everybody how to roll over? Roll over. So I always grab the elbows right here from the outside just like this, so I can bring them into the water. Okay, ready? I verbally prep them. Ready, set, go. Underwater. <gasps> Good, he's gonna come up. Good, I lift up out of the water. I make sure they didn't drink it. Then I grab above the elbow here, underneath the armpit on this side, and I roll over onto their back. And we go one, two, three, four, five. I go underneath the armpits, and then I lift up. And then we kick back, kick, 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 kick. Very good. Nope. Now, um, the amount of time you have them on their back is going to vary. Sometimes all you should do is roll them over and lift them right back up. Don't even worry about uh, keeping them in the float for a couple of seconds. It really just depends on the child. Da, 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 da. But the idea is just to get them really good at the rollover so they understand that rolling over is the first step. Then once they get good at the rollovers, you just continuously ask for a little bit more each and every time uh, as they get better. So this time, okay, we're gonna try a little bit longer. Stand up, grab the outside arms. Ready, set, go. Good, and we're gonna roll out of the water. Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, you did it! Very good. Now you might not be able to let go of your child in their float for some time, but the more you practice, the more you guys are in a pool, the more you're flipping over and floating, soon enough your child will be able to do it all by themselves, and then you'll be able to see just what they're capable of like this. Ready, set, go. <gasps> Good. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Whee! And now that just goes to show right there that you never know how it's going to go. Okay? He forgot to roll over that time. But the more you guys practice, the more you guys are doing the drills, okay, um, the better off they're going to be if something actually does happen if they fall in just like that. Um, so it is important you practice as much as possible and you try at different angles, throwing them out, throwing them back in, um, and so on and so forth. Okay? You want to try one more time? No. Yeah.